Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In today's video, we're looking at this, which is the Jam Pedals Rattler Limited. This is slightly different to the standard Jam Pedals Rattler, because this one has a little switch on it for high and low gain mode, and it also comes in this lovely little black leather gimp suit. <laughs> Just a quick interruption to this video. 73% of the people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribers. If you get something out of my videos, you'll be doing me a massive favor of liking and subscribing, and you'll also be notified as soon as a Studio Rats video comes out. Anyway, back to the video. Because this is the limited edition version, it comes in this Jam Pedals custom shop case. So in the case we've got, and I love the way that Jam Pedals do this, it comes in a little bag, and I love its cheeky little gimp suit at the back. Now, what also comes in the case, which I think is really handy, is if you want to mount it on your pedal board, they're giving you a metal back plate as well, so you can put Velcro to that and stick it to your pedal board, like I've done here. And when you buy Jam Pedals pedals, especially the custom shop versions, you just get so much attention to detail, it's absolutely fantastic. Right, let's hear how it sounds. The reason why I decided to use that intro for today's video was because a few years ago, I did a theme tune for a TV show called I Don't Like Mondays. And when I initially submitted that music, I was using some overdrive pedals for all the guitar parts. And the producers came back and said, we really like it, but we want the guitars to sound less 80s. I was racking my brain at what to use because they obviously wanted me to use some fuzz pedals. And I really didn't like fuzz pedals at that time. So I was trying to think what I could use. And then I thought, well, why don't I try a rat pedal? Now, the thing about the rat pedal is it's a distortion pedal, but it's also, I guess the circuit you could say is a fuzz pedal. And that's basically what this pedal is. This is Jam Pedals boutique version and their own take on a rat pedal. I'll play my clean tone. <laughs> If I kick the pedal in, so let's have a look at the controls on this pedal. First of all, you've got your level, you've got your gain, and you've got your tone control. And then you've got this switch here, which switches from low gain to high gain mode. Let's hear it in the low gain mode first. Let's dial the gain all the way back. This is where this pedal is incredibly versatile because you can get some edge of breakup sort of tones out of it and you can get some sort of screaming high gain fuzz sort of tones out of it as well. So in the low gain mode, let's turn up the gain. So you can hear in the low gain mode, we can get an ink from sort of clean breakup tones. Some great sort of rhythm tones. Some really usable overdrive tones. And then as we get sort of halfway and beyond these sort of screaming lead tones. Now this is where this sort of style pedal really comes into its own because you can get those overdrive tones out of it, you can get those distortion tones out of it, and you can also get those great fuzz tones out of it. But the thing that makes this circuit really special is that you don't lose definition, so you can hear and feel every pick attack. <laughs> So I've got the tone about 12 o'clock. So 
so it never gets harsh. It's got a really nice sort of sweet top end. Now let's switch into the high gain mode. Now when you switch into the high gain mode, the character completely changes. So now you get a lot more top end through. And then as you wind the gain up, the top end gets smoother. And as you turn the gain up even further, you're obviously getting into those fuzz tones and it breaks up in a really nice way. Almost like a big muff. As you can hear, it's an incredibly versatile pedal. And it's one of those pedals that you could cover so much ground with because it does overdrive distortion and fuzz. Anyway, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of this. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.